is replace the handle pull it bolt so replace it into there keep that loose -ish. that's nice that's just right now you can stay there put the belt back on now see if it's all dry and clean so back on with the belt goes over there first because that's the hardest place to go most difficult place to get it over, should I say? Make sure it's as loose as it'll go. Right, ease it on. It, making sure everything's in line as it is gratefully the idea is to leave these loose while you tension it up because it gives that bit of movement but it holds the pump in the timing position so if we tighten that up of 10 to 12 pounds a foot and torque of the bolt is 45 newton meters so what you want to do is there's a little notch out there especially for this pull it up put your bolt in there ready fiddly yes is the word off. So I'm going to move now. So bear in mind you want to keep an eye on anything that's moving as you tighten it up, you don't need to go too. You want to just not be able to quite turn it to halfway. That's the idea. It's nice and taut in there. So now, torque 25 newton meters. The pump. What I've done is replaced one of them. 13 mil, yeah, th yeah, 13 mil. Sorry, so I ain't gonna have any problems with it again. They're both done, talked up. So, just to recap, replaced and talked up, all done, tensioned and talked up, rotated and checked. That's all fine, everything lines up wrong with them pulleys they're brand new that's brand new anyway one not very old so now I need to remove that pump which I can hopefully get without messing about with a dog ball I can so now it all needs to basically cover back on and go back together I need to remove this gasket because that's split and removal Right, okay, what I'm going to do is replace the front cover very carefully. It's got all its gunk on. But I've put, I haven't got a um, paper gasket available, but I've got the proper um, replacement gasket um, stuff that you can get. So, up into position, like so. A bolt. Here we wiggle. Obviously, using the appropriate bolt. Yeah. 
bolt from the supply here. Yes, that's secure. Now all it is is a case of replacing every single other bolt in line. Right, they're all replaced. Now all they need is torquing up to 25 Newton meters. Do them up by hand the best you can individually first. Five newton meters all round. Right, okay, time to replace the big pulley. Same again, very gently. Easy on. It's position. And very gently. just by hand it's nice and loose still it'll still come out so that's on I'm not going to tighten it up yet I'm going to put the second one on then I'm going to put the belt on then the bolt can go in so now we want the next one in place Wants to go on. This is the belt. It's around the bottom. Around the bottom. Inside. Round the alternator. Up over the top. Inside again. There, and then obviously it goes off the top of there. What I'm going to do is a second. Sock it with um, whatever size it was, 14 I think. Prize it up. Prize it up and then get your belt. Up over the top. And there. Spring falls back into place. Then we can torque the nuts on here up, which again I'm doing at 25. By all means, check and double check these torque settings in the manual or whatever you want to use. That's in position now. I can re torque up the tensioner nut, which is here, and that goes up to 45. Right, so we're all back up, built and ready to go. So, next thing to do would be.
pretty large bolt. Put some lock thread on it. Not a massive amount, just a bit to keep her in position. Thread her all the way up. Bear in mind the time is all set now, so if it moves it's not a disaster. with the standard ratchet. Right. Now let's look at the torque settings. Okay, everything's re-torqued up, bottom's torqued. Well the nax is to have it in lower range fourth gear or fifth gear and pray and tighten it up as quick as the best you can up to 270 newton meters I think it is so it's very very tight but also on top of that I obviously put some locking compound on there so if you get it anywhere near as damn it then it ain't going to shift with the locking compound anyway they're obviously redone everything else is taut back up just done it two couple of rotations it's a case of now just replacing everything back to where it was. So let's roll and rock, rock and roll. Slide into colouring. Right, that's that's as it is. So what I'm going to do now? You get on, get it all put back together, finished off, and uh, I'll get back to you when it's when you should start up again. Okay, cheers. Right, first start up after the um, crank seal has been um, renewed. So we're all back together. Needs bleeding, which I'll do as when it's obviously running. Poured water, plenty of water into there, slightly overflowed from here. I'm only using water for now because what I'll do is then drain the water out and then top it up with coolant and let it circulate that way. So that's all topped up. Uh, obviously, the thermostat is currently closed, so what's going to happen with that? We'll have to wait and see. That'll need topping up in a minute. So, what I'm just going to do is do a quick start up just to finish off. If you wanted to, all you need to do is, uh, and you can cover back on, which obviously you do by uh, removing uh, the filler cap, that's all you do, filler cap off, cover back on, filler cap on, um, jobs are good and Jobs are good and away you go. So that's another video finished and I hope you enjoyed it.